Good morning, folks. We're looking at a line of solar tornadoes entering the Earth-facing disk. If they survive the rest of the day today, they'll enter Earth-facing eruptive position for equatorial releases. Today, we're taking a hard look at Hawaii, which is increasing activity in ways yet to be seen reported in the mainstream news. Also got a positive moment to end as the ESO is the best shot of the tarantula nebula ever taken. Let's come first to spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star, coronal hole on the south, satellite jostles as the phi angle of the solar wind reverses, and you should notice some pops at the right side on the north. While not at all significant, we are seeing a tiny resurgence in solar flaring after silence as that grouping faced Earth. It is awakening now as it turns away, and we will also begin to watch the incoming limb for the entrance of umbral magnetism magnetic fields there, perhaps some more sunspots beneath them too. Coronal hole shot here and that is indeed a southern and northern polar extension. The horse is on the south and part of that southern system has a tail reaching up across the equator, which does matter for earthquake power. Meanwhile, we are in a bit of a large magnitude earthquake drought. No doubt the five pointers near Greenland and again in Africa are noteworthy, but it's been 22 days without a six pointer. We expect three of those per week and a seven pointer about every 20 days, so yeah, that's a drought. All activity has been about Hawaii. These USGS videos are pretty impressive, especially in how perspective can dictate perceived magnitude. Doesn't look like much of a fountain, but the slow fall is the key. It is falling from very, very high as the fissure releases fountains up to 200 feet. But today I want to discuss the explosive volcanic eruptions. I have put every single explosive eruption there on this one USGS data map and ordered them by largest magnitude earthquake triggered by the eruption. The largest two events were in the last two days, 29th and the 30th, and magnitude 5.3 is about two and a half times stronger of an earthquake than 5.0. This is a scary trend over the last 48 hours, and I don't see it being reported. Up next, it would be a lie to say I didn't get excited every time the European Southern Observatory posts a new scientific piece. Here, the ESO zoom in on the large Magellanic Cloud goes one step further and dives into the Tarantula Nebula. This is one of the most studied features in the galactic neighborhood, with views taken over the last few decades in optical, visible light, in radio waves as we see here and will again soon, and in X-ray by Chandra. The composite images reveal possible cosmic jet involvement in the creation of the feature, and when toggling optical, X-ray, and millimeter wavelengths, scientists began to see the spectrum of light they couldn't see before. And in this latest release today, we see more detail, more stars, and greater resolution than in any shot of the Tarantula Nebula ever taken. Folks, if you haven't seen all of the material on the homepage of suspiciousobservers.org, that is a good way to dive through a mental wormhole, not for the weak-minded or fearful, however. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.